For this logic tutorial, I've created a jumping challenge for Connie and Cuthbert. Looks like Cuthbert's feeling confident. Oh, better luck next time, Cuthbert. Let's see how Connie gets on. When Connie jumps on a platform, she'll only have a few seconds to get to the next one before it disappears. But to give the game some replay value, we're going to create some scoring logic. See that microchip on the side of the start platform? Open it up with L1 and X. This is where we'll build the scoring logic. These trigger zones detect when Connie crosses the start and finish lines. If Connie falls, the health modifier will trigger this global settings gadget to reset the scene. So Connie can try again, and all the platforms will be back in place. It'll be up to you to fill in the rest. Keeping score in a scene is done using a score gadget. Go to the assembly menu and select gadgets. Open up Gameplay Gear with X and find the score gadget. It looks like a prize sticker with 100 on it. Make sure you don't grab the score modifier by mistake. Stamp a score gadget onto the microchip next to the finish line trigger zone. Then unequip the gadget with the circle button. Start the next step when you're ready to start setting up the score gadget. Let's take a look at the scores tweak menu. Open it up with L1 and square. It's a pretty simple gadget. You can rename the gadget by selecting the name at the top. This is really important if you have more than one score in the scene, but we can leave this score with its default name. At the bottom of the tweak menu, find the button with the score icon on it. Hover over it and you'll see it's called Post Score. When this button receives a signal, it will post the current score. But post it where? Well, if your scene is placed in a dream, the score will be displayed on the scoreboard for that dream. The score for this scene should be posted when Connie crosses the finish line. So let's use the finish line trigger zone to activate it. Create a wire from the detected output port of the finish line trigger zone with R2 or X. Extend it over to the score tweak menu, then connect it to the input of the post score button. Now when Connie crosses the finish line, the current score will be posted. Close the tweak menu with L1 and the circle button. This score gadget is all set. In the next step, I'll show you how you can display the score on screen. <laughs> 